What's up guys and welcome to another video and let's get ready to wake up and react to two more episodes of Bleach. Episodes 11 and 12. Uh, sorry there haven't been uploads for the past two days on Patreon. Uh, I guess, well, I've had stuff to do obviously, but also today's when it really hit, but uh, I think my depression was like, I have phases where there are like, where I'm okay. Like, it's there, but I'm okay, and then there will just be days, well, multiple, days or a week, or maybe some, I don't know, last time it lasted, like, two weeks, where I just feel like, you can just feel it here, in the pit of your stomach, in your chest, where there's just all this emotion that just, it's overwhelming, and it makes me not want to get out of bed. Like, today I had to force myself to get out of bed. Um, and I don't think anything happened. Honestly, I think it's just my OCD. Uh, and, like, so I, I don't know if you guys know, but, like, I've had a lot of OCD about my teeth. And, uh, there was just one last thing I wanted them to fix. Uh, and she pretty much told me, no, she can't do it because, well, she could do it, but if she did it, there would be certain drawbacks, and so now I'm trying to come to terms with the fact that, like, I have to be satisfied with a smile that I feel insecure in. And it's not a big deal to many people, but when you have OCD and it's something that you can't fix, you can't have it to your standard, you're stuck with it, it's just on my mind 24-7. And so, like, every time I look in a mirror, I think about it. When I watch TV, the first thing I look at is a person's teeth. And, um, and you know, it's just a big insecurity of mine right now, and I don't even want to smile, especially when I'm, like, out. But, yeah, anyway, so, like, I, I think last night and today, like, I'm just trying to come to terms with the fact that, like, yeah, I have to be satisfied with something I'm not satisfied with. Learn to live with it, I guess. And it sucks. Because with my camera, I can, I have control. I can fiddle with that. I can make it... I can get it to a point where I'm satisfied. I don't know if anyone knows if you're new, but I have severe OCD about camera angles, like it being straight uh, and not tilted. Or at least what I think is straight. My brain. But I have no control over this because I'm not a dentist, so. And I've had multiple people tell me that like right here in person, like, yeah, they're like, I don't know, it doesn't look like there's no bonding. It just looks like your tooth's a little bit yellow there. So, like, I tried to bleach my teeth twice. Didn't work. Because it's not... It's probably not my tooth. It's probably bonding. And bonding doesn't... Or it's the glue, not bonding. Bonding's not there. The color's not there. I should say. And so I can't change that. She has to do it. And she told, she told me no. So, like, I don't know. I went, like kind of crazy last night and like called like three different dentists and left messages even though I know they're closed because like I'm just like trying to get in and I'm like spiraling you know like what do I tell them because the second you tell a dentist that you're not satisfied with another dentist's work they don't want to touch you so do I lie and say my dentist retired do I say oh my dentist moved away they moved their practice I don't know what do I say but because they can can they look up my records and see I don't know. Like, you see, I'm lying. Like, I don't know. These are just the things that have been in my mind. And when you have OCD, it's just all day. And it exhausts you. And so I literally was just... I'm like... I think I'm like almost like grieving in a way. Like, my the smile that I used to love. Because I know I'll never have it again. And, um... I don't know. I hate that feeling of, like, frustration and helplessness. And, yeah, and I know to a lot of people that that's going to seem small, but to me it's a big deal because I want to feel confident when I smile, and and I don't, and I, I mean, never, probably never will, because I, I don't know, anyway, um, anyway, Bleach, I just want you guys to understand that, like, the reason I wasn't working isn't like, oh, she's lazy, she's this, she's that, it's just that, like, it's so hard for me to focus on anything but this. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. Uh, bleach. Hopefully will take my mind off of it. And I'm just gonna just try to throw myself into work. So that 
I don't have to think about it. Uh, I don't even remember what happened. I felt end of the last episode too. We'll just jump in because me trying to remember is just it's a lost cause. My memory is just terrible. I think she likes him, and she might be jealous. Yeah, she has like, hmm. Oh, never mind. He noticed something. I think that guy's the main character. I'm feeling it. Is he on the poster? The guy with the black hair, and he looked like he just had glasses, but I could be wrong. Look at how scared he is. Hmm. Don't get too close, bro. In other words, he knows nothing. You're funny. Why is he showing himself now? Mm-hmm. Whoa. Is this his, like, transformation process? Wait, oh, a bow and arrow? Wait a minute, bitch. Cool. Whoa! Way more efficient than Ichigo. That bow and arrow is sick, bro. I hate you. Yeah, but why? Okay, but why? But then he said, but why? And you said, isn't it obvious? What the f- Because I hate you. That's not an answer. Doesn't even make sense. He's still learning, like, he's still new to it. Asshole. Ignore him. Yep. Yep. Probably. <laughs> That's funny. How? How did you pick up on that? Around the middle of May, okay. Okay. How? All of a sudden he's transforming? He uses those to make his little outfit. So he's. I, Ichigo's probably gonna learn a lot from him. Whoa, that's your ribbon. It seems like the way your body just tensed up. Yeah, and I, he, he said it. <gasps> Why did you just tear it? Oh, 
Wait, 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 but you just ripped his ribbon. That doesn't have any effect on him? Why does that matter, though? But why does it matter who's stronger? Why are you having a competition? Soul Reapers aren't necessary in this world. Why? Won't they save people? I guess he didn't have that experience. Bum bum. Sounds like some Dick Wolf show. Dun dun. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it would. I mean, his powers are... His powers are all his own, though. I mean, she's the one who has to, like, you know, separate his soul from his body, but he's the one with all the energy. Oh. So they don't get to go to heaven. They don't deserve it. Yeah, I get it. Destroyed? Well, clearly not completely, but how? How are they almost destroyed, you know? Hey! I was waiting for you to make an appearance. <laughs> the way he ran away. I guess he doesn't need Rukia. I forgot about that. Is that the end of the episode? Ooh. Good episode. Um, but yeah, we don't do long reviews for this because we're doing two episodes at a time. So... I can't wait to see how that fight ends up though. So, but if I do end up splitting this up on YouTube and doing, you know, what it was, then hope you enjoyed the reaction. And uh, yeah, go check out the next episode because it's probably up right now, or if it's not, it will be soon. So yeah, I'm gonna get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. All right, we're about to jump into episode 12 of Bleach. What? We just got done with well. What's his name? What's his fucking name? Uryu and Ishida? Uryu Ishida. Not Uryu and Ishida, sorry. Uryu Ishida and uh, Kurosaki Ichigo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that in the right order. Are about to duel to see who's stronger. You know, it's kind of like a battle of, you know, I guess, ideologies, sort of. Like, they believe, what are they called? Their clan? The Quincy's believe they, the Hollows just deserve to die. And Soul Reapers think they deserve, you know, peace. Because some of them, it's not their fault that they're being turned, you know? It's, like, forced upon them. But I think some might actually turn naturally, like, on their own. Because of, you know, their emotions and regrets and all that, I think they said. So, anyway, let's jump in. What is that? Hollow bait? That's how you're gonna see who's stronger? <clears throat> but you're putting people in danger just to kill it? Mm -hmm. I guess he doesn't care. Oh, shut up, you show off. Nobody knows who I really am. I 
to kill <laughs> it is it's different every time so weird oh fuck his sister sisters Chad too probably. He's got some backstory like. Yeah, you hate them. Mm, it's personal for him. Because they want wanted to spare the hollows. It got your grandfather killed or something. Oh shit. Wow. Okay. Tatsuki and Oryumi. God, I can't remember their fucking names. They did both see the hollow. Well, actually, I wasn't sure if she did see it. So I guess she did. She was just like, oh, something's stepping on me. What the fuck's going on here? Hmm. So you guys kind of remember it. Not supposed to. Ever since that day. So it like awakened their abilities, I guess? How, how else do you put that? Can you see me? <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> A hollow? Probably? What is that? A hollow forming? Oh, Karim. Shit. I wonder if this guy, like, is a soul reaper, used to be a soul reaper, whatever, I don't know. But we need as many hands on deck as we possibly can get. Whoa. Come on, one swing. You need so many people out there because there are just so many people. They're like drawn to people with high spiritual energy. So who, how many people do we have to worry about? It's two sisters, right? It's two friends. So four so far, right? At least these are small ones, relatively. Like, compared to the ones that Ichigo's been fighting, I don't think these are as big of a deal, you know? Like, he's killing a lot, but they're all kind of like, they're like baby hollows. He's like, aware. Something's going on. Like, but you're not saying anything. <sighs> I'm just gonna keep doing that. Because they keep killing it. Killing them, sorry. No, it's not. Yep, she's figuring it out. Somebody lured them all with that little- I forgot what he called that thing that he crushed. Which is bait, really, I guess. Is like a, a giant one gonna come through? Like, one we actually seriously have to worry about? That guy does not look happy, bro. He looks worried. Guy who runs the shop. I wonder if he's ever gonna fight, like, people versus hollows, or, like, if the hollows are ever gonna get maybe more intelligent. Not that they're not intelligent, but, like, I don't know, more calculated, maybe. Like, hmm, more organized. I don't know. 
Something like that. Is it a hollow? Oh, he can't see it. You can kind of see it. Oh, your powers are awakening. Oh shit, he can. He's, look, I feel like it's becoming more and more, um, less and less transparent. What's the opposite of transparent? Solid? Visible? Yeah, high spirit energy, I guess. He's like, then come get me, bitch. This way. Get away from my friends. Chad. She remembered that. Oh, and he's got like a little bird necklace too. Ooh. Kids, get out of here. Please, run away. Damn, where's Ichigo? Or, um, who else? Ishida, uh, Rukia. The guy at the shop, I don't know his name. Like, one of them needs to get their asses over here and help them. He can't. Just, oh well, yeah, I guess he can a little bit, but not to the degree that she can. Oh, nice teamwork. Makes the dream work. He might just have to tell his family what he does. His friends, too. I hope they do all find out at some point. Shit, bro. He got hit hard. I mean, he's tough. He's durable, but he's not invincible. <laughs> no. Did you beat him up? <laughs> oh, I know, they're cute. But right now, you're gonna get yourselves killed. Yeah, go, go, go. Just go, go. Mm. They're for protecting people. Wow. If anyone needs to be a soul reaper, it's Chad over here. Ooh. Wow. Did you just completely destroy your own arm in the process, though, or are you okay? What the fuck? Uh... What? Does he have some sort of... So does everyone have their own ability? He's got a really strong arm. Ichigo's got the sword. Ishida has his bow and arrow. I wonder if we're gonna get to a point where Ichigo doesn't need, like, Kone or Rukia to, you know... I guess, I don't forget what that form's called.
That's good. Ugh. Hurt him even more. That was, I, I like these past two episodes. I know it may not seem like it because, you know, obviously I told you I'm not in the best headspace right now, but uh, they were good. And I feel like we're getting into like some more, hopefully we're gonna, we're getting closer to getting into some more like complex storylines, like something that's not where, you know, you. You know, it's like a villain of the week thing. I'm not really a fan of shows like that. I don't like villains of the week. I like villains of the season, villains of the seasons, of the show. Sort of, uh, no, I don't like that, actually. I don't really like when there's one villain for the entire show because I guess boring. But um, each season, yeah, I do. Um, or if you're like teasing, like, you know, like we've got this villain that's in league with this villain where his boss is this bo is this person and then that person's boss is this person eventually you reach the top that like maybe we're, where we're working our way up i'm cool with but anyway uh because if it's just one villain the entire time it's just like well i already know you're not going to defeat this person till the end of the series so why the fuck am i watching this i'll just wait till the last episode it just is like eh. i think things just get done like you can't get invested, you know what I mean? I know you're not going to kill off my main character, but I know you can't kill off the villain because they're also a main character. They're the main antagonist, so what are you going to do? You're wasting my time. That's how I look at it. I, I don't know. That's maybe extreme, but like I just get bored with shows like that. Anyway, so what else? Uh, sorry, that just made it seem like I'm not shitting on Bleach because I don't even know if that's how this show is going to be. See, I'm crabby. I'm sounding like such a bitch. I went from being depressed to being, like, you know, you're irritable sometimes when you're depressed. I'm so sorry. I'm apologizing. I just got so irritable and I realized it, like, whoa, where did that bitchiness come from? Anyway, <laughs> uh, but they were good episodes. I like that we're, like, staying a little more focused on, you know, like, these characters and their relationships and their stories and how... They're being affected by things week by week. Like, they're not throwaway things that they're experiencing every week. They're not throwaway episodes. Like, they all matter. I like that. So, anyway. Um, so, it seems like anyone who has, like, high spiritual um, abilities or, like, senses or something like that. Like, they can have... Uh, God, I said abilities already, but that's the only word I can think of, like... Yeah, like if they can sense a lot of spiritual energy, then maybe they are also capable of, you know, being a, I don't know what you would call it, like kind of like a soul reaper, but they're not really, you know, because they're not the same being. It's more like a job description, right? Than an actual, like, I don't know, like species or whatever. I don't know. Maybe it is more of a species thing. I, don't, I feel like it's more of like a job description though. Like this is my, my job title. I don't know. But anyway, they have abilities. Like Chad's arm, Ishida's, uh, that's right. Yeah, that's Ishida. Uh, his bow and arrow. And Ichigo has the sword. Although I don't know if he has a sword because that's what Rukia has. So like if he just was able to develop his abilities on his own, would he still have a sword? I think I already know that he already has a sword. I feel like that's usually the visual I would see. You know, going around on the internet. So he's probably going to stick with a sword. Even if he doesn't need Rukia or Kone anymore. To, you know, exit his body. Because other people don't need to exit, like, separate their soul from their body to, like, use their abilities. So hopefully he does reach a point where he can do that as well. Um, but anyway, I don't have anything else to say. So I'm going to let you guys go. So I can uh, get this up for you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be notified every time I upload a video. And if you guys want full reactions, you can catch that on my Patreon. The link for that is in the description below, so please check, check that out. Sorry. And sign up to support the channel. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, guys, and I will catch you in the next reaction.